Mark, where do you see this thing going? Look, the template of Bush Gore 2000 uh, is such an important hallmark for people to look at. And a, a very key thing for the president right now, and you saw that in the words of both sides today, is to not let Joe Biden be in a position to declare a victory. Yep. If enough states are projected by the media, even though the media is not the government, if enough states are projected to get him over 270, you can bet he will declare victory and they'll start the balloons and the champagne. The media is invested in that. They want Biden to win. They told the world Biden would win. And so what you're going to see now is the president, what he's doing now with these lawsuits, calls for recounts, calls for investigative access, talk of the Supreme Court is to slow things down as much as possible to try to put himself in a position before Joe Biden gets to 270 to look to make some Trump luck, to see if something can happen in one of these states, maybe nationally, that would change the environment for the country, maybe for the courts. And the president's looking to see if he can find a way to keep Joe Biden from getting to 270. Okay, really interesting because Joe Biden was the one who early, early came out and said, the media doesn't call this, Donald Trump doesn't get to call it, I don't get to call it. So right. you, do you think that that actually come back to bite him now? Because I think you're right, they're trying to create a path to 270, but he's the one who said, don't let the media call this. Right, and that's why you saw today as, uh, in the sound that Lindsey played, Joe Biden can't come out and declare victory. He basically said, as Lindsey quite rightly pointed out, I'm not declaring victory until I declare victory, and I'll declare victory when I can declare victory, because he knows if he does that before he's been given 270 electoral votes by media projections, that people will say, well, you're getting ahead of the voters. That's one of the president's few weapons right now, as he looks but, but to But I guess what I'm asking, Mark, is that what I'm trying to get at is that he has already yeah. said that the, that those are not authorities in this, that it takes the states right. to call them. So now he can't right. turn around and say, well, the media has given me 270 electoral votes. Doesn't he now well, have to wait for the state to do it? Well, by that standard, he's got zero because there's not a state in the union that certified their votes and made them formal. But again, if there's this middle ground, which is if he gets declared to 270, you're right. It's logically inconsistent. You can't say it's not about the media and then rely solely on the media. But he will, he, I'm, Pretty certain, and I think the president's people agree, he he will get away with that in many quarters. He will get he will be able to do exactly the opposite of what he said, which is to rely on the media projections to say he's won. And getting to 270 makes all the difference in the world. You saw with Bush versus Gore, President Bush basically declared himself the victor on election right. night, and he never gave up the upper hand. He held the upper hand throughout that that battle through Florida, and that's what the Biden campaign's trying to do. And the president, as you know. He gets power politics. He gets symbolism. He's he's got, he's not doing himself very. I don't think a lot of favors by the way he's talking about claiming states and going to the Supreme Court. He needs facts that he can take to election administrators. Facts that he can take to courts of law, potentially the Supreme Court. He's got to buy some time so his legal team can try to find those facts. And that time again, the hourglass is wholly dependent on not getting to 270 for Biden because the minute that happens. The president's going to be given less leeway by the press and I think less leeway by some Republicans. OK, so let's just do the math real quick. The president, by our count, yeah. has 214 electoral votes. Let's give mm -hmm. him the 16 in Georgia. Right. So that gets him mm -hmm. to 230. That's yep. then give him the 15 in North Carolina. That gets him to 245. Now he has to get the another 20 from Pennsylvania. That gets him to 265, Mark. That leaves Nevada six electoral votes and Alaska's. Alaska's three get him to 269, one short. Yeah. He needs to run the table. Is Am I, am I missing anything in that? But he yeah, has to run I, well, the table I, or pick off Arizona. Well, that's the one I think I think the campaign's most interested in. The the propeller heads, the geeks in the in the Trump campaign say we were mystified. Why is Arizona being projected? And I'll tell you, Nate Silver, no champion of President Trump, he himself is saying, wait a minute, we don't understand at, at our website why Arizona's uh, been been uh, projected for the, for the Democrats. Right. So if the president can win those two southern states where it appears he's got a good chance, if he can find a way to win Pennsylvania, which is not a gimme, then, then the question is, is what the Trump's campaign is saying with, with confidence about Arizona true? They're not saying that about other states. Right. They have a very different posture towards Arizona. So I think today that's his best path. Right. And that's the path, you know, we were called, uh, before the polls closed, that's the path I saw as his most likely. This would be an unorthodox route to that path. So, that's so path to quote Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber, so you're saying <laughs> there's a chance? <laughs> there, is, there is a chance. Okay. And again, as you know, his best chance is to buy time because right. if, if things rush through, there is no chance. His best chance. His only chance is to buy himself some time.
Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.